Challenge. You can only have one of each tower on map. If you put a tower on the map, you can't put another one. For example, you place a banana farm, that means you can't put another one unless you sell it. Use creator code BOLTRIX. First of all, this guy's speaking 100% facts. Use creator code BOLTRIX in the Battles 2 MBTD6 shop. Hashtag ad. But second of all, guys, we literally just did this in the last video. And again, in a video that I did over a week ago. But the one thing is the wording is a bit different with this comment. If you take a look here, it says you can only have one of each tower on map. So in my opinion, that means we can have one Dartling Gunner, one Gwendolyn, one Glue Gunner, and one Village. And because we technically already did this challenge twice, that's how we're going to be doing this challenge in today's video with using one of each tower. So without further ado, let's hop right into it. Gwendolyn versus Gwendolyn. Guys, I am so tired of doing this challenge, but at least it's a little bit different with today's video since we can use one of each and every single tower that we have. And should we just start off with Gwendolyn here? I think so. And I'm gonna start off with her probably like right about here. I'll stop equaling for a second as well. And then maybe set her to last, back to first, back to last. Okay, our opponent's got the tax shooter though. Yikes, yeah, tax shooter is simply not gonna be the play uh, for this map because there's not very many spots on this map that the tax shooter is going to be all that good in. I mean, even this spot right here, is really not all that good. Okay, now he's going to be sending space greens, though. I kind of don't like that. I'm going to go for a Dartling Gunner here. Okay, okay, okay. We're good here. We might leak some lives, though, so I'm going to put this back to first. Yeah, he wants us to leak. He clear. He very obviously wanted us to leak right there if he's balloon boosting space greens at me. So that's definitely something to note. And now he's going to be sending us space yellows, too. Yeah, this guy... There, there's not much that I can do about this, unfortunately, I don't think. So, we're going to be taking even more lives here, unfortunately. Um, I'm going to go for, though, the powerful darts upgrade after just one more income boost here. And once we have this upgrade, we should be chilling, right? Yeah, we have to kind of slow down our echoing a little bit too, unfortunately, but that's okay. Okay, now we should be doing a lot freaking better. Let's set Gwendolyn back to last, and then I think we can set her cocktail, like, somewhere over here. So I'm like, maybe right here. And I think it can affect both sides, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. And round five is here. So I'm probably going to have to go for the powerful darts here. But I can actually wait uh, for a little bit because I can just go for the level three cocktail ability. So he decided to go for a tax prayer. Tax prayer is not the play when using the tax shooter during the earlier game rounds. I mean, for now, he's fine. But definitely want to go with the two, three, zero. So the middle path upgrades rather as your third tier upgrade, if that makes sense. And I did go for the faster barrel spin. Do I need to use a level three ability? I guess we'll just use it anyway. Or wait, we might not have it back by round seven. And round seven is probably sending me group jealous. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me, bro? That's one for a round six overdrive? You, you can't make this up, bro. This is exactly why he has been space decoying for the entire game. Okay, so although he has the light vintage, although he has yet to even leak a single life, and although he has the overdrive, his eco is trash. So in the long run, he is absolutely going to be screwed because we're easily going to be able to outmoney him in general. And to be fair, honestly, I don't even mind if I don't have the life advantage with this game. All we need to do is just win a game with using one of each tower. That is it. And obviously, since we're limited to what we can use, we most likely actually don't want to even be sent a rush in the first place. Okay, so during the later game rounds, I'll probably be aggressive. And yep, there he goes with the village. <laughs> Bro, he's not even ecoing right now, too. This is crazy, crazy stuff. We'll just stop ecoing here at the start of round 10. I'm going to clear this obstacle here. And then we're going to go for a Dartling Gunner. I don't know why I'm going for like pixel, pixel perfect placement, but there we go for that. We actually need two more income boost uh, to go for the HRP here. Okay, so a little bit scary, but he probably was more worried about his defenses as well at the same time. But there we go for the HRP. I haven't really been stalling out these rounds all that well, considering we are using an eco-based strategy. So my apologies on that oh my god he's got a tower boost and use level three ability to just space rainbows here on round 12. i should be kind of scared here because he still is an equine 
We're good here. It kind of sucks, though, that we uh, tower boosted and use level 3 ability. So because of that, I might have to go for a glue here. Okay, that's the one glue that we can have. Okay, he might have to send camos now because of that. I'm like very, very scared here because he's still not ecoing. Oh my god, what's going on? What's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, okay, I knew it. I mean, actually, it doesn't even matter because that's not enough rainbows to inflict any damage whatsoever. So we're good. Okay, I'm going to get back to Ecoin. I think we're fine here because our tower boost is back now. If he wants to send us a camel base rush, be my freaking guess. It doesn't matter because now we have the Raider Skinner Village to grant the ability uh, for the glue gunner to pop camel balloons. And oh, he's Ecoin with camel blacks. Oh my, you, you cannot make this up, guys. I mean, we're in ZOMG Superdome. We're literally in the second highest arena. And these players think these very simple and dumb rushes. No offense to this guy either, but like, come on, that's just not going to work. And like I was talking about before, in the overall money game, we're, we're definitely going to take the lead here, okay? Because he was space eco during the earlier game rounds. It didn't even consistently eco during the mid-game rounds either. So I, I guess we're just going to let him be because... I would like to take this game a little bit later, but if you think about it, these three towers are the only towers that we can go for unless we end up selling one of these three towers to replace it with a different upgrade. Camo yellows, bro, dude, do you understand that like, I, I can pop camos pretty easily actually. Like there's actually no freaking way. I mean, it's gotta be on accident, right? It, it just has to be on accident, but did decide to transition into pink eco because we hit our 1750 eco mark. Usually when I hit that amount of eco, I like to transition into pink eco. Um, we already had the laser shot cross path on this as well. What should we cross path this uh, glue gunner with? Decisions, decisions. We could also, oh wait, fortify let, bro. This guy is trying every possible rush in the book. Like he just doesn't understand that. Hydrocopods can easily pop uh, fortify lead balloons, but hey, He's learning, probably, at least, because, like, there's no way that he didn't know that prior, right? So now he knows. But round 20 is, in fact, here. We really only have this HRP on the map to do damage. Of course, we're going to be fine here. Do not worry. Just going to pop off the mob layer. And then we are good. Now, I thought about going for the bottom path upgrades on this farm to get even more eco from simply ecoing. However, I don't even think that's going to be worth it for us here. Oh, wait. I think we're fine here, right? I'll probably just use, let me, wait, what? I didn't use, I mean, oh my God. I didn't mean to use my level 10 ability right there. Oopsies, but it's okay. I'm gonna start you healing uh, with group zebras here now. But I decided to go for the jungle jumps here. And do I want this as my glue spot? Yeah, I guess we can have this as our glue spot because this will be our eventual Super glue, okay? And now we're eco with group zebras, by the way. He did decide to go for the ice. So he has Takai's Village. <laughs> Shocker. I already knew that he had Takai's Village, okay? So that comes to me as really no surprise at all. But again, yes, this will be our eventual super glue so that we can defend against round 26 DDTs. And wait, is he dead here? Fortified Ceramic. Ooh, he tower boosted. But I think he's fine. He is, in fact. And yeah, I didn't even talk about this, but the reason why I decided to use this strategy in specific is because I know the Dartling Gunner, like, just one Dartling Gunner is super, super good. Just one village is also going to be super, super good because the idea is to eventually go for the Homeland Defense on this village in case we need to buff our MAD, which that's our adventure goal with the Darling Gunner upgrade. And then for our single Glue Gunner upgrade, it's the Super Glue, since DDT's definitely could be an issue for us but if he sends us a fortified bed for example we could sell the super glue and then actually use the glue storm ability to get plus two damage to every single tower which that would only be actually gwendolyn and our mad and plus two damage to the mad is not very good because if you don't know the mad actually shoots incredibly slow because the missiles do like i think 600 damage a piece so that's why the fire rate of it is extremely slow, you know what I mean? And by the way, I'm gonna transition back into uh, grouped pink eco here because it is now round 25. I actually really probably should chill here just to be safe because I feel like he really plans on rushing us here with DDTs. 
So yeah, I'm kind of happy that I stopped decoying for a second. And I'm going to go... Okay, wait. We have enough money on hand to go for it in case we do need to go for it. So we're good here. Yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. Round 26. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. So I guess we're good. And by the way, I could easily kill this guy. Like I could have killed this guy so long ago if I truly, truly wanted to. Is he going to go for Icicle and Pale here? He might. He might indeed. Dude, I might have to just go for the super glue right now because, I mean, look at this. Oh, my goodness, bro. Okay, wait. First of all, let's go for this maybe. Go for a Rocket Storm here in case we need that. We're good there, right? We are indeed. Okay, yeah, he did go for Icicle and Pale, so... He'll also be fine against DDTs. Uh, but I probably should just stop ecoing. Ooh, what if I mob here? I guess then we go for super glue. <laughs> yes, sir, baby, but yeah, I'm gonna stop ecoing here at probably like 5,500 eco. 5,501 it is. That's honestly like a solid amount of eco to have, especially before even the start of round 28 here. So very, very happy with that. We should have enough money to go for the MAD by round 30. And if he sends us a fortified BED. We'll try to defend against it, all right? It's obviously not smart to do that, but it's for content purpose, ladies and gentlemen, okay? And nothing really in general has happened since he sent us all those camera rushes during the mid-game rounds. But yeah, we could technically even go for uh, the Homeland Defense, but we would be using the Homeland Defense ability on just this uh, Super Blue right here, this Rocket Storm, and then Gwendolyn. So we need a Tier 5 that can actually do a bit more damage so that when we do actually go for the Homeland Defense, if we can, it will amplify that even more. You know what I mean? It's more important to have a good tower or a good tier 5. And we're going to have the Jungle Drones buff on it as well. That's why you see it shooting slightly a bit faster. So that, of course, will be very, very nice to have. And round 30 is, in fact, here. Just pop this down. Now I'm going to go for a call to arms here. Because, I mean, why not? So end this round here too as well. Let's see if he sends us anything. I mean, I hope he can defend here, right? I mean, with having Icicle and Pale, he should be good. Like, there's no way you can't go for anything else. Like, what? <laughs> oh, my God. This round's being stalled out. Oh, my God. Dude, <laughs> that one ceramic was glued down. So, that was just taking forever. But, yeah, I just want this guy to send me a rush straight up. But, I guess let's send Stone 2. Oh, wait. Okay. So, yep. Homeland. Level 10. Homelanded freaking MAD is cracked. Okay, so we should be good here. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. We are in fact good, but we still have to be careful here. Okay. Go for another homeland. So we have to watch out for everything underneath, of course. I think with that, though, we're good, right? Bro, we shredded that. Oh my god. Using only one of each tower, guys. Only one of each tower. The MAD, the Homeland Defense, and the Super Glue. That is freaking crazy. I didn't expect this strategy to work out that well. I kind of want him to send me another one. I feel confident here. We do have to watch out for all the ceramics underneath, right? Oh, my God. The ceramics are actually super scary. Look how bad the MAD is against the ceramics. I don't want to use my ability here either, right? <laughs> no, really? Camo reach and freaking rainbows, bro. I can't with this guy. I straight up... There's no way he still thinks that those rush... Bro, he's, he's not stopping. Oh, my... I, I've never seen anything like this. Guys, remember. Second high serena. We're in ZOMG Superdome, bro. ZOMG Superdome. And he thinks camo reach and rainbows are like the best thing to send. Still at this point. That is just too funny. He still won't, he won't even stop. He's still sending rainbows. He's not going to be able to send us another rush. He just won't be able to. So we're going to put him out of his misery here by sending him a fortified BAD. If I send him anything else, his Icicle and Pale is going to be able to stop it. Unless I send him like a crap ton, maybe, of just unfortified DDTs. But I honestly just don't even want to take the risk. And I want to see if he tries to potentially counter. You never know. But there he goes with level 10. Um, did he already use all of his tower boosts? I think he did. <laughs> he doesn't even have a tier 5 tax shooter, bro. Oh, he sold the village. Okay, he might be trying. Oh, he sold the tax shooter. Oh, he sold Gwendolyn. DDTs. Just shred. Tower boost too, because why not? Look at that. Look at that MAD go. 
Oh my goodness! <laughs> Bro, he served. <laughs> There's no way. Dude, that was one of the funniest games. I'm sorry, Junior Buds, if you're watching. It's all for good fun, man, okay? But man, oh man, was that game just absolutely fire. <laughs> but seriously, you guys have all got to drop a like for that. And if you're new to the channel or haven't already, make sure to click that subscribe button for daily Battles 2 content like this. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where this tower combination has something in common. It's the Spirit of the Forest times the Super of Minds. And you have to watch the video to find out what it has in common.